Hey guys, Dr. Mario here from MTG Diag Diagnosis, Dr. Day, Magic the Gather by Night, and we're opening up another, or uh, we're continuing to open up this booster box, sealed booster box I got um, three or four weeks ago when War of the Spark first came out. Um, had this box sitting in my bedroom this whole time, so really looking forward to seeing what we get. So. Here, I'm going to open up another six packs and see what we get. So I'm not going to go through the commons. Uh, uncommon, Merfolk Skydiver, Storm the Citadel, Gideon's Triumph, and Karn. That's nice. Karn, the great creator. So four of any type mana. Activated abilities of artifacts your opponent's control can't be activated. So, oh, looks like, oh, we got a foil in the head. So... Karn, uh, plus one until your next turn. Up to one target non-creature artifact becomes an artifact creature with power and toughness, each equal to its converted mana cost. That actually I was thinking about would be really good with Gilded uh, Lotus because it's a five to cast tap for three mana of any color. Um, but if you use his number plus one ability, it becomes a five, five creature. So, um, And then you, minus two, you may choose an artifact card from... Uh, you own from outside the game or in exile. Reveal the card and put it into your hand. So, and then the heb. Oh, that's nice and pretty. So, this guy, five four trample four to cast. So, and he's red. So he's uh, very good for um, aggro. And whenever he deals combat damage to a player, so because he's trample, um, unless they block with a five toughness, the uh, opponent will take damage. If you do, um, you may discard any number of cards. If you do, draw that many cards and add that much red mana until end of turn. You don't lose this mana as steps and phases end. All right. That's a pretty good pack. You get a uh, Karn and a Foil in the Heb. Rare, so... Foil rares are, you know, worth just as much as non-foil. Some are worth just as much as non-foil, um, non-foil, uh, mythics. So, Angrath's Rampage, Emergence Zone, Ob Nixilis is our legend, uh, Planeswalker, and then Dreadhorde Butcher. This guy's really good for aggro. One red, one black, one one haste. Whenever he deals damage to a, a player or a planeswalker, put a plus one, plus one counter on him. When he dies, deals damage equal to its power to any target. So becomes a big problem for your opponent um, if he doesn't take care of him quickly. Uncommon, Stomri, Pledge of Unity. Vraska is our Planeswalker, so another uncommon Planeswalker. And our rare is Dreadhorde Invasion. It's a enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, you lose one life and amass one. Now, if you're zombie took, whenever a zombie token you control with power six or greater attacks, it gains lifelink. Oh, we got another foil. Uh, Spellgorger Weird, um, which is actually a pretty good creature. Three to cast for a 2-2. Two, two. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on Spellgorger Weird. And, I mean, you're going to be casting non-creature spells all the time, so it's a nice foil. <clears throat> Three more packs left. What are we doing on time? Hmm. All right. So our uncommons, Paradise Druid, Liliana's Triumph, Bond of Flourishing, and a rare Teferi. There we go. Love this guy. Love this guy because he becomes such a big problem for your opponent. He's three to cast for four loyalty, and then plus one until your next turn, you may cast sorcery spells as though they had flash. Minus three, return up to one target artifact, creature, or enchantment to its owner's hand, and you get to draw a card. And his static ability, each opponent can't cast spells only any time they could cast a sorcery. Oh, or can only cast spells any time they could cast a sorcery. So um, that's a good, you know, stops a lot of the instants, you know. So a lot of board wipes and stuff. Uh, by the emergency 
Legends, Fire Mind, Jace. There we go. Oh, we got a Jace too in this pack. Yeah, nice. And then he's his his ability. This card's actually a very niche card because it basically you want to mill yourself out so that you can win the game. Oh look, and this card has that skid mark again. Or this pack I was talking about a few episodes ago, so you can see that going right up and down there. So I don't know what that means. <clears throat> it means they're having some issues at the factory that day. Reynolds Outburst, Heartwarming Redemption, Zhang Yang Yun is the wild crafter. He's actually a pretty good planeswalker and Widespread brutality is a rare. Mass two, then the army you amass deals damage equal to its power to each non-army creature. It could be a wipe. All right. So here's our, we got a Jace, a Teferi, a Neheb, and a Karn. A Karn, Jace, and Teferi. The, the good guys trifecta, I like to call it. That's the good guys, so... If you read the story, you'll know what I'm talking about. Thanks for watching. See you next episode.